Come here. Welcome to the famous Foxes Aftermath show, live every Sunday on Leicester Fan TV. Come on, you foxes. <laughs> Good morning, Foxes. How the devil are you today? How's your weekend been so far? Was it ruined on the Friday night with the defeat against Plymouth? Another defeat. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the Millwall game, but you know what day it is. It's Sunday. It's 10 o'clock. So it's time for the famous Foxes Aftermath show run by us fans, for you fans out there. And you know what? Your opinion really, really matters even more now. To get them comments in, let's get going. It's kickoff time. Come on, you foxes. The Leicester City Machine is on the march again. Leicester Fan TV presents a variety of content like fan discussions, match analysis, and engaging with Leicester fans worldwide. We want your views live. Thanks to our sponsors, Everots, Follow Blinds, Pocker Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Distillers Direct, Hologram, Take Me, Nubian Co, and the Foxes Arms and Rainbows. We are live in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Well, James Hill, we'll come to that one in a minute. Just a little bit in a minute. That could be a main topic of discussion. But first of all, I just want to say something. I said a few weeks ago, I didn't care about the performance, just the results. But Enzo is still, still too bothered about the performance. At some point, you have to step away from your plan, plan A. We all know he's got plan A. By changing it up, good managers find a way to get results out of the team. We've just lost two teams, 19th and 20th, fighting off relegation. We should throw the kitchen sink at them. Changes need to be made. We need to find a way of winning because that's what we need. We need to win these last few games, the last four games. We've got to win these last four games. No one wants to win the league at the minute. The form is unbelievably bad by the top three clubs. Only Southampton won yesterday and managed to get some points. We've got to change it somewhere. On that note, morning, Reedy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You're still in your dressing gown, pal. It's still a bit cold. Mate, you you from. They, Leicester do not deserve for me to wear a Leicester top today, mate. I'm wearing something, Leicester. But oh, not, not the football, yes, really. Not, enough. not the, um, not, not deserving yeah. to wear the Leicester top. But well, I've got and I, and I will yeah. mention that it is my fault for the title. Um, we are in still pole position, but we are not top as it stands. So unfortunately, uh, that was my my fault. Yes, Reedy was hung over yesterday morning when he did it because he went out on a birthday on Friday night instead of going all the way down to Plymouth, which. He enjoyed the birthday celebrations, but you didn't enjoy the Saturday morning, did you? Because you were slightly no. over. No, I'm, I'm fine now, though. That's the main thing. You're fine now. Uh, there's a lots lots of comments that have come through. Me and Reedy have done the pleasantries. This is probably the most pleasantry pleasant we're going to be all morning. Let's talk about, straight away, I'm going to mention the white elephant in the room, straight away. Patson Dakar. <laughs> right. As much as you get upset, with Dakar missing all them chances, you also got to be upset with Enzo, the key picking and out of form player. His confidence yeah. has shot it. Yeah, I, I've tried to back him as much as I can. Um, I've seen many times this season people slating him for the missed chances and whatnot. He had two clear cut chances, or I would say three, but he did put one away and it was offside. But two clear cut chances to. To at least put it on target, um, and he didn't do it. Now you, I've seen a video this morning of the amount of times he's actually missed big, big chances, and it does show. But for me, as mo I'm not going to back him. But this is where 
someone like Enzo needs to show some sort of grit or determination to, to swap it because, like I say, David Platt says there we've got three other strikers that can do something. But obviously, Vardy hasn't done it the last couple of weeks from doing stuff, but you, you've got but you've got both Kell and Cannon both to play. Again, they might not be in form strikers, but they need to be. They need to be put on there. If, if Dak is missing all these chances, he must be doing something in training for him to pick him again. He has to be. The thing is, Tom Cannon must be thinking, like you said, Tom Cannon must be thinking, what has he got to do to get some game time? Because when he was on the pitch at Christmas time, I know it wasn't because he was in form, it was because of injuries, but he did a job for us. He scored four goals, I think it was, in six appearances. Something like, I can't remember the exact record. But he scored goals and he looked, he could hold the ball up. It was pacey. He scored a cracking goal when the ball got played over the top at Millwall. In the, yeah, it was Millwall in the cup. And he buried it. Why not, really? Why? Why is Callum not being given a chance? I, I, I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Again, for me, you've just got to say... like I've, always, I've said the last couple of weeks that it doesn't matter who's up front because we barely play with a striker. And the, the, whoever striker's playing doesn't get many touches of the ball either way in the 90 minutes. So whoever gets it... That when they do get the chances like Dak has, he's obviously not putting them away. So it has to be a change up top, or it has to be some sort of change in the style, or in any way to make us win these games. But I heard what you said a minute ago about we lost to the 19th place and the 20th place. If anything, it's going to be even harder for us to comp to compete against them because they'll be wanting to get oh, just one the thing. points Ivan's just, just said, as bad as us. Ivan's just said, Callum, it's for the future, and the other three won't be at the club the next season. But surely, I've heard this before, we had the future, Trevor Benjamin was one for the future, but he didn't work. Well, surely you play them now, though. If, you, if you're struggling for goal, you play your strikers now, don't you? All three have had chances. As much as I like Nacho, and I think he's a great striker, granted he's not in form, and he plays off confidence, but surely... Nacho needs to be given a chance to get that form in, but another striker that hasn't had the chance. Yes, I know we jump on people's backs, we make Dakar a scapegoat, Nacho a scapegoat, but surely we need to give them a chance of a run of games. We've given Dakar a hell of a run of games, really, and we just don't seem to, it just It's so out of form, it is untrue. Yes, Jamie Vardy against Millwall didn't have the best of times. Yes, against Plymouth, he only touched the ball twice in, 17, in 27 minutes while he was on the pitch. Surely you've got to give the, the fourth the fourth choice striker a chance or play dinosaur football two up top. You've got to change yeah. them. Forget, like I said at the start. Put it's hard. It is, it, is, it, is, it is very hard because, and again, this isn't me blaming or or like trying to back Dak, but it's performances as well that it's costing us because... It's not even the striker at scoring. None of us are scoring. None of the players on that pitch are scoring. Mavadidi is still very, very out of form. As much as people are saying he scored big goals, I get that. But he was awful again against uh, Plymouth. You've got Fatou started. He looked a bit more promising. But again, the moment they scored, we just lost all control and all fight for the game. It, it just doesn't look like we we're going to score any time. And this was before... We said this before we we won them two games against Birmingham and um, Norwich. We were saying that we just couldn't see a win anywhere. We got them two wins and we thought, do you know what? This is the bounce we needed. We'll go into these next two games in against 19th and 20th and then smash them to pieces. But in actual fact, they wanted the game more than us. And that, that should not be the case. Because think about it. If we won them at six points and those last two teams have dropped points, we, we would nearly be promoted already. We'd yeah. actually need to be promoted already. I honestly think, Nick, I'll bring Nick in now because Nick's just logged in and joined in. Morning, Nick. How are you, pal? Oh, all right, mate. How about yourselves? Oh, good. That's Apart from the obvious. There. There's, not, there's not much of a cloud behind you there, pal. No, well, we say we've got the bouncy castle out for the kids in the garden, so it's it's actually quite warm. So Barney, You'll be jumping on that later, won't you, to get your frustrations out? Don't support my weight, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, so come on, how are you feeling about... I mean... What in it, it's been a bit of an embarrassing week for Leicester, really, hasn't it, Nick? Because we had the high of Birmingham and winning it in the last minute how we did. And then we've gone from the very, 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 very low of Millwall and Plymouth performance. What happens now, pal? Well, I mean, I've, I've been speaking with Locks about it for a couple of weeks now. 
I kind of feel like we're in Groundhog Day. For me, this what we're doing right now is a carbon copy of last season under a different manager. If it, uh, you you two, yeah, I don't I'm know if you were there. I don't know if me. you were there on. I don't know if you were there on Friday, Reedy, but no. I mean, I it's felt sorry for those poor sods who travelled all the way down there that probably didn't get back till half four in the morning, or you know, do you know what I mean? If you served up that, and you two, explain me this. And did he off? Pratt on. Now, if you're chasing the game like we were at the time, why the hell did you not bring another striker on and play two up top? Because mm-hmm. it's Enzo, See, mate. That's all I can exactly. Tell you. And, he, and he had the he had the, he had the sheer audacity to say what he said after the game. The, the performance was non-existent. It was crap. They looked the players looked knackered, and they did so on what Tuesday. Gets, what, gets, Rotate what, gets, it. what gets me, Nick, is that Derek hit the nail on the head here. Winks gave the ball away a lot on Friday night. We have 72 possession, but the team gives the ball away an awful lot. How the hell do we keep this possession with 72% and keep giving balls sloppy passes away? Possession's only as good to have unless you do something with it. We can have all the possession in the world, but let's be fair, the vast majority of that possession is just passing it around the bloody back. Prime example, Nick. Prime example. I know it was in Europe by Leverkusen against West Ham. They had 75% possession, but had 33 attempts on goal. Yeah. 30 In one game, 33 attempts on goal. That is what you call possession-based. The only, I know they only scored two, one, two, nil. But they had 33 attempts with this roughly the same amount of possession we get week in, week out. The only, the only difference is, um, Jamie, is the fact that they've gone unbeaten all season. They've not lost a I'm game. On about, no, I'm not <laughs> on about the actual team. I'm on about the stats. No, I get it, but that's where you get all that stuff because it's there's so much confidence in that team that well you should think we we've got the confidence to be what top or second in the league. So it, it is what it is, really, isn't it? But I'm not again, saying this this style of football can't be effective. I'm not saying it, but I think you need a certain quality of player to be able to do it. Manchester City, for example, play this style of football, but let's be fair, they've got world class players even in their youth team, for God's sake. We're trying to play this type of football, not with world-class players, but players that have come from Alde, for example. You can't, you can't <laughs> well, do it. The supermarkets are available. Yes, or Lidl or wherever. But, you, you know, your basic supermarkets, that's what we're trying to do. And it doesn't work. If anything, we should be playing to our strengths. We've got a lot of pace in that squad. And all this, oh, counter-attacking football doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. Well, it bloody worked against us on Friday, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Just one thing. Forgot to mention it. I was going to mention it straight away at the start of the season. Yeah. F- at the start of the show, FA Cup semi-final for the women today. Good luck. They're playing Spurs. Either team, whichever team wins, will be their first ever, didn't, ever FA Cup. I believe it's on BBC as well, I believe. Yes. Didn't Leicester win against Spurs last time we were in a cup? No. No, I don't think so. I thought it was, wasn't it? I don't know. I think we were no. winning 2-0 at one point in a, against... Spurs, but it is what it is. Um, uh, congratulations for getting to the semi final, all the women. Uh, there's a big blow. I think there's six or seven buses going down, so that's a pretty decent number going down to the Spurs game at Spurs ground today. But back on to the men. While there's so many people watching, I want to do a quick straw poll in or out. That's all I want you to put in in or out, Enzo, in or out. What is your feeling at the minute? What is your feeling? 17 points at, at New Year's Day, we were 17 points clear. Of third. Now we're second. There's one point between or two points between first and third, and we're second. So, oh, oh God, I wish I'd started this now. Everyone All I'm going to say, J Man, before the, you start reading out what people are saying, I think it's, all well, and, it's, it. all, it's all well and good saying in or out, right? I know what I'd rather do, but you got to be re- realistic. Here. Can we afford to get him no. out? We can't. We've got We're four stuck. games back, left. There's no point getting rid of him yet. Back room no, staff. I mean, everyone, there's, there's, I, I, there's too many. I can't do it. There's that many people coming in. Jamie, let's just monster. say this. Let's Nick just Chatton, say this. He's, out. he's on the fence at the minute. Let's just say this. The way we're playing at the moment and the way everyone every, every else is playing at the moment, we will still go up just by everyone playing there's, crap. That's the mental the, thing about it. <laughs> there's one of the biggest fans that I know, Aggie Frith. And he's lost faith in him. I've I'm lost very, faith. I'm and I, was, I've been champ- I was champion him all season, but after seeing what I saw, even to a point when I was at the the Birmingham game the other week, 
I was I was in the West End, so I was right close to the dugout. And the amount of times I, I found myself shouting at him, "Get it bloody forward, Enzo!" Because we, was, you were there, Reader. You can't say that. You're not to say that. You're I don't care. Shout, I, don't, I don't. I don't care, Jamie. If yeah. I see, if I'm I'm one of these fans. I'm not going to push it. I'll say it how it is. If I think we're playing crap. I'll tell them yeah, we're playing crap. I do, and then I get a load of abuse for it as well. But you can't no, say... No, Jamie, you, you're old school like me. Mate, you're old school like me. I'm not one of these fanboys that's jumped on when we won the Premier League. I, I started going down when, at Philbo when Pleat was in charge, for God's sake, and they were dire times. Yeah. Like, they don't play that football anymore. It's all done on FIFA, and that's the only way they play it. Pass, mm, pass, pass. You don't, don't play the long ball anymore. Started. can't do it on FIFA no more, so you're not allowed to say, get it forward. Well, did you know on FIFA you can make Dakar... A 90 rated player and world class, and players you know, teams like Real Madrid can buy him for hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds. <laughs> yeah, Irish. realistic, um, isn't it? That quick straw pump, <laughs> I think. I'm not exactly sure the percentage, but it looked like so it's about 90 lot. 10, mate. It's about 90 percent, yes. 10 percent. I've got to say, it was about 90 percent of everyone was saying out. But really, you... who would you want in though? Well, really? I don't, I don't, I don't like... think there's anyone. To, I don't think there's any talk about that right no. now. Why not? Why not? Well, that's because throw some names out there in the comments. Who okay, so in? instead instead of that question, I'll say that if we get promoted somehow at this point, do you switch it up into next season, or do you give Enzo it because we got promoted? I mean, for me, I think we need to change from top to bottom. Not, I'm not saying change the ownership, but I think we need to look at a new director of football and, you know, and work its way downwards and stuff. I mean, I don't know if you guys go on Fox's Talk, but there is a thread on Fox's Talk where they're t talking about this at the minute. And one of the names that keeps being mentioned for director of football was Offer It to Pearson. Okay. Even with his, Come on. As him having him as his director of football. Well, he'll know what he bloody knows, wants. He knows the club he? Really, well, he knows the club very well. Knows top very well. And let's be fair, you all, Nick, you're you're about like that. You're on my Christmas card list now again. No, but can you can you think of anybody else that would be better off for a director of football job at our club than Pearson? Yeah, Maybe yeah, O'Neill. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree. I totally agree. But just just going off, it seems to be we talked about this last week, last summer, didn't we? As well that. Um, we needed a big change. Now we seem to need a big change again. It goes on my point that watching that game against Plymouth on Friday night, some players were just waltzing around, not doing the hard work. One in particular, Wout Fez, didn't seem really interested. There was a few others as well that didn't really seem interested. I would even put that down to Mavadivi as well, wasn't really interested until he got the ball and then he tried to do something, but he wasn't backtracking. He and it, also, it seems that some of the players that are out of contract as well, I think we've got too many, and I, I don't think they're interested. And I think this is rubbing off on the, on the squad itself, Nick. Matty Piper used the term over-arrogance. He could see it on the club, but he thought, oh, it's all right. We've gone 1-0 down. And, it, and it, if you think, when you think about it, that's what happened last season with the likes of Tillemans and Madders and... They were putting out all these tweets saying we'll be fine, thinking we're too good to, you know, to get stuck in, this, that and the other. There's not really anybody in that squad other than a couple of couple that would roll the sleeves up, get stuck in and, you know, drag this team with a scruff of the neck and get try and get a result. Mm. There's nobody in there. You tell oh, me, uh, other than Varda and possibly all Brighton and you know what I mean There's, you think you think long and hard in that squad that we've got who could well, actually grab them by the scruff on the neck say come on let's get it forward let's get the holes there's nobody you're saying um, all Brighton there Nick him and Nacho haven't been training with the first team why don't know you're playing Varda right you're playing Varda who's better who's better that knows Varda's game in and out also gives you an attacking output, defensive output. I don't know whether that was since the Millwall game or because of them being not in the match day squad, the work training with the first team. That's I ridiculous. just don't, I just don't the thing know. Is, the thing is, with this style of football, we know at times it can be brilliant in a way in the fact of if you, okay, right, if, you pitch, if you picture the, the Norwich game, yes, we went 1-0 down, but... Oh, sorry, no, it was 1-0, weren't it? But... Either no, way, we went one nil down and then went one oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. But either way, 
you've shown how good the style of football can be against a team that was in good form. So for me, it can work. And I, was, I still back the idea and the, the style. The players just need to show it. But th- for me, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not blaming Enzo for stuff because he, he has got it wrong a lot. But I think you can count on one hand, not even five games of not of really decent football. Yeah, of course. I think you can count on one hand, five games, probably less than five, maybe even four. We played really well and deserved to win. Other than that, we've been lucky. That beginning part of the season, even Nick, even you've got to agree that some of the games we started at the beginning of the season, we didn't play well. Other teams didn't finish games off, did they? Didn't kill us off, Nick. No. There's, there's, loads, there's loads of it. I mean, again, but I'm going back to Birmingham, but for me, that's one of the games where I could say, especially in the latter parts of the game, that was the team performance come out and stuff. And I can only, I can't think of many games like that where, as a team, you know, we had to get a result. We knew we had to get a result, this, that, and the other, and it worked. But I can't think of many. I mean, for me, that we've kind of when, flattened. It was when it was we a beat, hard watch. when we beat Birmingham. Obviously, I saw a video, I don't know if I mentioned it on another show, but I saw a video of all the players coming into the training ground and they were filmed saying, name, f- say one I word, yeah, say yeah. one word for the win and how, how good it was. Massive, Winks, winks, yes, swears, important and stuff like that. And then they go to Millwall and um, Plymouth and put that performance out there. Like, wh- to... where's the momentum? Where's the, where's the fight? There, there's yeah. nothing there. There's, there's been no fight. This is right. This is... Right, this is not directly at Callum, but this is to all of the, the lot that are trying to be really, really positive uh, to this situation. He's put, you lot are going on like we're a mid-table. We are one point from the top. Callum, this is a fact. Not anything else. Not bull. Not bull. We were 17 points clear. We've lost six out of the last 10. That's why we're going on like this. We should be. This situation should not. We should. Be we should be promoted already. We should be promoted. Yeah, by it now. should be done and dusted by now. Anyway, this we've gone really bad at the minute. I'm trying to mind my language at the minute, but we've gone so far. This is a fact. This is why we're in this situation. The style of football ends up being stubbornness, no passion, no desire, no fight. He said months ago. Enzo said months ago he would. Drop players if they weren't performing. Why hasn't he dropped Mavidevi? Mavidevi needs to have an assist or a, and a goal for from the from the Huddersfield game until the Norwich game. Mm. That was his first league goal. That's why. Yes, we are one point from the top, but we're only one point from the top because we lost two games, Leeds and Ipswich. Both they drew two, drew three, and lost one between them over the two, over their two games. That's why. You keep saying this. You can't keep looking. Oh, because we're top. That's the same as what people were saying. Thing as well, Callum's just said here as well about backing the players till the end. Well, of course, everyone's going to do that. Every single fan in in the Leicester fan community will do that. It's just hard when we what we see on the pitch is completely different to what we have been doing throughout the season. We've I mean, won games ugly. We, We've won games help. ugly. We've won games very clearly won like Stoke when we won 5-0. There's games like this that we, we, we can back. But when you've beaten the likes of Norwich and Birmingham the way you did, and then you go to the last the next two who are 19th uh, and 20th in the table, yes, they're fighting for their lives to stay up, but we it should have, help. the quality alone should be able to be there. Exactly, but it doesn't help with what's been coming out the last, let's be fair, since February with, with the financial side of it. That's no. not going to help the fans' mentality. And like you said, Jamie, we were 17 points clear at one point. 17 so points these, clear. These I honestly facts. thought we were up by Easter. These I are facts, did. not assumptions. But people seem to be throwing. It's like when I've been having a, you know me, I've been having a moan all season about the style of football. And people have been saying to me, well, we're top of the league. We're goal, top goal scorers, hmm. best defence team. But, and I said, we're not killing games off, but we're still we're scoring goals. We're not... This is the situation where we needed to kill teams off, or else that's why we're in this situation for a bad run. But all people were talking about was, oh, look at we've won nine games on a bounce and stuff like that. It's did just... you see the did you see the start against Plymouth? I saw at the start of the game that we, they've not scored a home goal in five games. 
Yeah, I saw that. They've not had a clean <laughs> sheet. They've not scored one in six. Yeah, and they've not had a clean sheet all season at home. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got, come I to mean, Leicester. You, you, come, come to play Leicester. It's there. fine, mate. It's fine. I'll it's we'll really let you have a clean sheet. All these win. ones. It's no really one, and one, all one, these five. ones. I was going to say, because obviously oh, we're, one, you know, we're one point behind this, that and the other. The way we're playing at the minute, we're going to end up in the playoffs. And all these people that are saying one point clear, right? I'm going to ask you in the comments, have you experienced what it's like in the playoffs? Because Jamie, as for us, that I have, it's the worst really experience more. in the world. Well, no, he was a twinkle in his dad's eye when, you know, when Stevie Farage scored and Walsh scored. I don't think he was even a twinkle but... in his dad's eye when... Uh... David Speedy got tripped over, tripped up. But you know what I mean, though. It's it, it's you, you can't say just because if we finish third, that means we're going to win the playoff final. It doesn't work like that. It's a lot no, of you can take four out of it because you normally find the team that's finished in six has had a good run and a confidence and a momentum. The team that's yeah. finished in third, I've struggled. I really, really, I'm, I'm going to say it, really pissed off because they finished in third and they should have yeah. gone up. That's why. Yeah. That's why very rarely third goes up um and another another thing i want to point out about what i was going to say a little bit about enzo again is playing the same 13 or 14 players instead of rotating just well, he was moments. he was moaning he was moaning about the fitness he's been moaning about the schedule and he's just played three games in seven days and seven of the outfield players started every game seven and he moans about the schedule and he picks the same th but at the beginning of the season he was rotating he was making subs now he doesn't even make subs he's starting to be the boy who cried wolf for me a little bit with some of the excuses i mean like i said earlier on why are you not rotating the squad i said you've got all brighton if you need more midfielders you could use nacho nacho can play that number 10 role if needed, you know, he can, and he can also link up with the striker when needed to, you know, make it to up top. You've got all Brighton. You've to got use. four You've got games Cody left. To use. You've got You've got Stolarchi four games left. Use. How can you? You got four games left. If it means anything to Enzo, obviously, and I'm not saying it doesn't mean anything to Enzo. I, I'm not saying that at all, but. You've had you've got four games left. You had nine when we started talking about rotating the squad and ch changing it up to make sure we win these games. How is it? How have we not done it to, until four games to go? I mean, we might not even do it still until the end of the teams season. Teams have sussed us out and it's stubborn us, like Trevor says. Teams have sussed us out and it's stubborn us um, to not change the tactics. Or but we've, used, we've had that problem for years, Jamie, even under Rogers yeah. and Powell. As soon as teams come and play this and put every mon behind the ball, we can't break them down. It's been the same excuse for years. Why have we, has it got to this point? You know, that we're still not talking about. I mean, another sabering thought, you know, I heard on uh, Friday. Do you know what we were doing seven years for that Plymouth day? Yeah. We were playing in the quarterfinals of the Champions League against Athletic Club Madrid. Right. So yeah. seven years has passed and look and you where know we it are is, now. You know what it is today? It's two years, it's two years to the day we played PSV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a sabering you know, thought, isn't it? Of How's it gone wrong so quick? Mm. Yeah. The yeah. fact is, as well, I feel like it's going to go when we get to that final day of the season. I feel like it's going to be the the last day of last season all over again. Where well, we, we win horrible. the game, we win the game, but Ipswich plays. Who, who plays? It's Leeds and Ipswich. We play Black. We play Blackburn. Ipswich play Southampton. Southampton. Yeah, sorry. Ipswich. Yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody, t somebody, quickly look on the chat. Who do Ipswich play last game of the season? I can't actually remember. Ipswich play, Ipswich play Southampton. Everybody's no, gonna be looking at the phone and not the game. That's the problem. Well, that's what it's. That that's game. what it was. That was what that's it was like we'll, against against. Um, that's what we're gonna do. West Ham on the final game as well. And you try and get yeah. bloody signal in the King Power. Everybody's gonna be on tender. It's gonna be a horrible atmosphere to be in. The little bit of old transistor radios listening. It's all with the old transistor radios with the air. Five live. <laughs> Some people don't know about that, do they, Nick? We do. They're listening to the. I do. Yeah, I use I, I use it to listen to Talk Sport on the early kickoffs when I'm delivering Wait, post so people, the reader. People oh, are saying Huddersfield. So how? So oh, it's, I told you it's Leeds Southampton in the last game of the season. So, yeah, so Huddersfield, they're, they're they're still scrapping. They it could come to a point where Huddersfield is scrapping, you know, to stay up. See, the only good thing, like Brandon has just said, three home games. Oh, sorry, it's covering 
We've got three home games out of the four. Yeah, really. You, you'd need to stand up anyway, wouldn't you? Even on your tippy toes. Um, we've got three home games. West Brom, Southampton, Blackburn. Win them. Win them and we're up. Yeah, you do, yeah. We win them three games, we're up. But I just can't see it. I really can't see it. Fat is, we're up at the moment. If if everyone keeps losing their blooming games. I know, but, but we can't rely on... No, I know we're not. I know we can't. I know we can't. We can't do it because... That's, if you beat Southampton, that's that's your clear point to saying that's, that's your chance to go up. That's the mentality we had last season when we went down. Oh, it's yeah. all right. We'll, we'll be all right. Other worse teams than us. It doesn't work like that, mate. No, no, it it's, 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 it's just so poor. and the, you, you could sense it. Even on on the Birmingham game, you could sense the atmosphere. But, I mean, yes, it turned out brilliant to the end. But it, just, it was like everybody's woken up and sobered up a little I'll, bit. I'll hold my hand up here. When Norwich scored their goal from that corner, I turned around to my missus and went, game over. That's us done and dusted. I didn't expect mm. us to come back from that because normally when the opposition score, we go to we go to pot. Mm-hmm. It shows Plymouth, uh, Millwall, even Birmingham. We struggled against Birmingham and we struggled yeah, against Norwich and start on Bristol City. We struggled against them. The thing is, people, people were like... Relating us to the Burnley last season, the way they were playing with a uh, company in charge. Well, how's that only, doing for them this I think season also, in the Premier League? No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. But all <laughs> I'm saying is, how many? I think they only had four losses all season last season. Every other, yeah, every. Yeah. They only had three. Only, well, either way, the top three now in the, this league have had what five or six minimum. We obviously we've got nine, but it just shows you that. It isn't easy in this league. It really isn't easy in this league. Here's one for you. We're the top out of the top three. We're the best performing team in the last three games. It just shows you, doesn't it? <laughs> With one win, the others have that won Facebook game user comment games. though. It's just like, yes, we we all know we need to dig in this, that, and the other. But do you trust them to dig in? Yeah, and grind yeah, it yeah. out. That's the thing. Be- I'm, not, we... I'm not convinced. Before we go, I think there's been three big issues, stroke mistakes that have come from this week. The one is not using the squad more. It's mm-hmm. got a big, it, it can't keep using the tiredness and the schedule. Two, sorry, Reedy, sticking with Dakar, an out of form striker, sticking with him. And Agreed. Three, not using Connor Cody when we're lacking a bit of steel and fight in the back. I think they're the three main issues that, that have come from this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I think that's I think that's where we've come from, and I think that's where we will end end it there. Phase needs dropping. I'm not going to talk about results or anything. I'm not going to fly off the handle like I normally do. It was just been an embarrassing week for the club. It really has. I mean, I felt so bad Friday uh, Friday night yesterday morning. It was. Oh, well, I was, I was. I still woke up on yesterday morning. I oh, were livid still because I just thought to myself, like I say, those poor sods who travelled all the way down and didn't get back to the early morning, you know, spent, a, and it wouldn't have been cheap to get down there. You know, the ones that didn't even go on the coaches, the, you know, the, the petrol and all that lot. And they were yeah, served yeah. up that. And it was like yeah. they didn't give a toss. I think that's really bad. You're lucky you didn't go, Reader. Oh, me, I'm so glad I said no to it. So That's what you glad. should be positive at this weekend. That you didn't travel all the way oh, down to Devon. I know. Mate. Yeah, the thing know. is though, he has Fridays off anyway, so he wants to lost today's pay like most people. But it is. It's ridiculous. Um, all right then, Nick. I'm not going to ask you about the game next week against West Brom. Reedy and Sam will do that later in the week. Phil will talk. They will all talk the iron legs off the donkey about it. So all I will say is against West Brom, I want Vardy to start. He loves a goal against West Brom, and also just start him. Yeah. There's, no not, there's, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about he just start because he won't. Know. The only reason the only, the only reason he didn't start for me against Plymouth was because it was only a quick transition from Tuesday to Friday. But I mean, have you been having secret words with Enzo saying how amazing Dakar actually is, and that's why no, he's no, no, kind no. of in love with him? That's why he's I've, starting him all the I've, time. I've been I've been saying that I don't <laughs> think he's been the the striker to start at the moment. Again, the he's only reason I said to play is is because he was scoring goals, but now he he can't. Stop missing chances, so I agree. Cannon, or if not, Vardy Cannon, yeah. Two night games away in four. Da- oh, yeah, sorry, Millwall and Plymouth. Yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Back at his pants. Sorry, Reedy, about that. Um, right then, Nick, we shall see you again next week. Cheers, pal. Have a good rest of your weekend, guys. Mind how you go. See you in a bit. Cheers, mate. Be good. Cheers, Nick. Thank you. There we go. It's Reedy, just you and me again. Um, I think we've covered most things, haven't we? Can't really cover much more. We've had a bit of a moan. People have agreed with us. This is what opinions are all about, isn't it? It's what football's all about. It's opinions. It's about being down the boozer. The only thing we don't do is start a fight after it. But other than that, it's, like I say, it's been a bit of an embarrassing week, like I said earlier, from the high to the low. It's the sublime to the ridiculous, really, isn't it, Reader? It's all Leicester, isn't it, mate? If it's always highs, always lows. It doesn't matter. The more, the more we lose, the better we get. So it all, all matters, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll see you on Friday. The more, the more Leicester lose, the more really boozes. Oh, don't talk about that. Let's just, let's just keep that quiet. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is, mate. As, uh, we're going to the weekend. Hopefully, we can, we, we can win again. Eight, eight days now, as in from the last game to this next game, it, there, there should be no issues with tiredness. So hopefully, we can bounce back. That's the positive side of it this week. We need a bit of hopefully. bounce back ability. If you if you win that and then you go into the Southampton game and you win that then you you are in pole position by far to to go through to to win the league because again if you get the next six points and we've won the game in hand we've already, we've already got a, a buffer but again it all depends on how how the team yeah. play so yes um, yeah if we don't play this weekend do they because they should have been playing commentary I think so, I think so. yeah all right then pal we shall see you next week. See you later, Pipe. I don't see you through the week. I'll see you through the window. Right then, lads and lasses. Much appreciated. Thanks for all your comments. I couldn't get all the comments on because there was that many people on. The comments were actually flying in. But just make your comments and I'll try and get your comments on as much as I possibly can. There we go. We've got another week until the next... Well, no, not now. Six days until the next game. West Brom away. We've got to build up and build up and uh, sorry, West Ham at home at half twelve. Sorry, We've got to build up and build up and build up to it. Try your hardest to get behind and make an atmosphere down at the ground on Saturday at half twelve. Ciao, ciao, adios, goodbye, a river dirty. There goes the final whistle. Thanks for watching Leicester Fan TV. Thanks to our sponsors, Everards, Follow Blinds, Pucker Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Distillers Direct, Hologram, Take Me, Nubian Cow, The Fox's Arms and Rainbows. Run by the fans, for the fans. Follow us on socials at Leicester Fan TV and visit LeicesterFanTV.com for all the latest news, views and videos.